Hello there, my name is Rohit Kumar and today we are going to discuss the box Alpine data set. So as from the set itself, you must have had a basic idea that what we are going to discuss. We are going to discuss the celebrity data set related information and uh, the box level one contains over 100,000 utterances from more than 1200 celebrities and extracted from the videos uploaded to YouTube. So nowadays it's a kind of uh, normal routine that uh, all the celebrities try some sort of social media or the media accounts and uh, they try to put their audios videos and different sorts of uh, social messages to their respective audiences so in this way depending on the kind of different utterances the videos and uh, the number of speakers uh, this particular data set is constituted the updates with respect to this particular uh, data set uh, are provided uh, having the overlap with uh, SITW and uh, the different models and the different sorts of uh, updations in the form of 1.1 etc everything is available here so if you want to download the respective downloading links are available here in the form of dev and test and uh, the audio files and the metadata related information those are also available so when you want to have the different sorts of file you need to see whether you want to have the clean file or you want to have the basic raw files so all the different sorts of uh, file pairs are available and depending on your choice and your uh, respective requirement you can go and have the certain choice now if you want to have the kind of uh, script uh, for the unofficial baseline code then you can uh, go for the this related link and here you'll find so now coming to the basic detailing because uh, we are discussing all this sort of information so the menus if we see here then the uh, if you move on to the about then the related about information will show you the kind of uh, promising uh, base of this particular data set so it's an audio visual data set consisting of the short clips and we have already discussed uh, the humans uh, of uh, whom the short clips are available. So those are the kind of celebrities and these are extracted based on the interview videos. Okay. Now more than 7,000 plus speakers and the 1 million plus utterances and more than 2,000 2, hours uh, data is available. And if you want to see the kind of utterances length, uh, that is also quite clearly visible depending on the frequency and the length chart. Then the gender distribution as well as the nationality distribution is quite clearly mentioned over here. Okay, so because uh, whenever you are going for research, it's uh, your interest area, it's your research. So obviously you are interested in a particular kind of nationality or you want to do a gender sort of uh, utterance uh, classification or sort of thing, then obviously you need to choose the according data. So when coming to the download, so the voxel 1, voxel 2 and the related models are available. So if the models and the codes are available, it becomes quite easy or very easy for a particular researcher that's why this model information is going to be really helpful for you additionally the uh, data set is available for download for the commercial and research purposes so that's a very good thing because many times uh, the data sets are not available for the commercial purposes those are strictly for use on, under the research license so that's why the creative commons attribution 4.0 international license they have given over here and it's a very good thing now whenever you are going to use uh, some sorts of questions are provided so here they have also provided a question that the distribution of identities in the box of data set may not be the representative of the global human population and it's quite obvious because uh, the global human population is so large and they have just collected more than 7000 utterances so obviously it is not going to be the uh, actual and the fair kind of representation of the whole human race and uh, they have also given that you need to be careful when using the unintended societal or the gender racial and the other biases because uh, these are the sort of issues which make or which do put some sort of impact when you are going to actual real life now the publications if you are going for some work if you want to have the kind of uses of this particular data set it's a normal uh, not legal but moral obligation that you are supposed to put some sort of citation to this particular data set so please cite uh, the respective data set whichever you want to use it is the voxel it is the voxel 2 and the voxel large speaker identification data set now coming to the publications so publication we have already seen the applications so here is the application information if you are interested you can go for the speaker identification you can go for the speech separation then the talking phase synthesis phase generation emotion generation as well as the cross model 
transfer between the face and the voices. These are the kind of different options that you can go for. Some of the related links so for the VGF face data set and the VGF face data sets uh, means uh, that is the enhanced version of VGF face. You can go and these are the different links. So those are available. And if you want to have the, the uh, text annotation, then you can consider the LRS data set also. Additionally, the emotional levels using the automatic classification can be found for the voxel here. This particular link is given over here. And lastly, coming to the challenges because different sorts of challenges do come into the picture when we discuss a particular data set. And with respect to Voxel also, it is true. So here they host the Voxel speaker recognition challenge at uh, inter speech every year. And this particular speaker recognition challenge is held based on the Voxel data sets. So, so it's a online challenge. And if you are interested, you can take part. And uh, if you want to find the related details or the sort of different workshop related details, those are can also be found using uh, this particular hyperlinks. So they have made a small, small hyperlinks and using these hyperlinks, uh, all the information is easily accessible. Additionally, the challenge workshop and the report, they have uh, given the separate links over here also. Lastly, they have acknowledged and uh, some of the sponsoring bodies are listed down here. So in this way, you can see that uh, each and every sort of details is mentioned over here and it's a fantastic data set for you if you are interested especially in some sort of uh, celeb related research or a kind of some human related research or the speech related research and what kind of a different operations that you want to perform on a particular data set those are also available thanks for watching this video if you didn't like anything please let us know through your comments and do criticize this particular video thanks for watching again Have a